think the highlight for the year overall was our uh, end of year show, which we had uh, in this room here uh, on the 24th of June. It was a really fantastic experience for the students to see all the culmination of their efforts in a wide range of disciplines. And it really is fantastic for us as staff to see what our students have achieved and what they've managed to get up on the walls and have as, a, as evidence of their fantastic quality of artwork. Most proud of this year, I think, it would be the quality of the student work. I mean, just from over this last year with the amount of stuff we've had coming in, the chance I've had to engage with local photographers, the quality of the work has really, really risen up. I mean, we've got some certainly better than some professional standards I've seen already out there in the local community. Some really, really great photographs being taken. Things have changed a lot because this year we've introduced, um, for the first year, digital video production equipment where videotape has gone and it's made the workflow very fast, we can produce new things and the quality and standard of, standard of work has improved dramatically with some fantastic work. This year in Games Development we've been working on uh, several projects, um, concept art projects, we've been doing a fantasy art, uh, historical fantasy, we've been working on game engine, uh, building levels as well uh, in 3D. In our area this year we've been perfecting our journalism skills, our writing skills and what it takes to be a journalist, as well as learning all about public affairs and MPs and the setup of parliament, that sort of thing. Um, in addition to that, we've also been learning shorthand, trying to get up to 100 words per minute shorthand. That's T-line shorthand, uh, which a number of students already have done. And um, we've also been learning video journalism, which is new for this year as well. The highlight of the year for us has been the new City 6 Centre that's been revamped with new facilities. As well, we've been on a range of visits, um, especially to the Houses of Parliament, where our students got to take place in a debate in the House of Commons itself. I'm really proud of our students being selected by Channel 4 to be on a news report about politics. Um, I'm also really proud of the dedication, enthusiasm and passion that our students have really shown this year during their studies. This academic year has seen um, the overhauls of the studios, um, which has meant that we've um, got the new Control 24 surface, which has meant that we've been able to work in a fully digital studio this year. It's been a fantastic opportunity for the students to try out new techniques um, and also to step up the level of professionalism. There's been some excellent examples of um, exemplary student work this year, but a couple of the highlights would be obviously the showcase, but secondly, the uh, collaboration with performing arts, creating compositions, original compositions for their showcases. Here in performing arts, um, it's a vocational course, so we do lots of performances, live performances. Um, we've done a showcase with all the years, so that's a level two, level three and level four, uh, which goes on at Christmas. We've done a dance show, again for all years, which looks at different variety of physical theatre, dance, acting. Um, we've done a Shakespeare play for the second years, and we're now currently working on our end of year musical, which involves uh, level two, level three. And we've also done a H&D project uh, working for the Warsaw Council looking at discrimination and equality. Yeah.